Hey, what's up, you Apple fan fire starters? I'm super excited that you're on this video. You guys have a quick question. Can you guys hear my voice? There's like a little bit of a rasp. Like I can't talk higher than this. I'm really trying. Sound like I'm dying something. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways, cause I got sick and my voice is like, has a limit now to it. It's kind of frustrating. But anyway, so um, I have a testimony that I wanna share with you guys. It's, uh, it's like hopefully to motivate you, inspire you and to kind of remind you know, us all that God still works. And he's working in my life, which I'm super thankful for. Um, it's, I'm just so, so appreciative. I said thank you to Jesus so many times about this. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't, couldn't believe it, but here, here's the story, okay? Um, a few days uh, ago, I was in my early morning time of prayer, right? And it was actually pretty crazy because I literally was laying in my bed as my alarm's going off. Dude, Avia, wake up, Avia, wake up, Avia, wake up. It wasn't saying that, but that's the, what I heard it saying. I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. right? And so I look to my right and I see, you know, the little Alexa deal going off is telling me to wake up, the alarm going, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I do not want to get out of bed. It's too warm in the bed, right? So I'm like, dude, I just, I just want to lay here. I just want to like, keep comfortable. Then as I was thinking about it, I was like, no, don't let, don't lose, don't lose, Avia, win. Win right now in this moment. Do what you don't want to do. So I was like, oh, fine. And I pull the blankets off and I pull my legs out of bed and I uh, lift up and I'm like, oh, I did not want to do this. Literally that, those few things took me 16 minutes, okay, to accomplish. That's how not feeling it I was, but I forced myself and I'm super glad I did. So I pull myself out of the bed the warm, toasty bed. And I'm like, Ugh. so I go downstairs, right? And by the time I get downstairs, I'm kind of, okay, I'm a little awake, I turn the lights on and get my water, start doing, doing my deal. My morning routine to extra wake me up. So I start praying, right? As I was praying, I was, you know, uh, you know, went through the processes that we talk about here on Yappa 238. And I'm going through the processes and I'm like, okay, you know, I went through worship and praise and that exhortation and adoration and everything. And I went through that and then now for repentance and everything. And so I just go through this process, right? That I'm supposed to do. And I'm like, okay, God, I'm here. I'm awake. It's like four o'clock in the morning. I started at like 3.30 or something like that. It's four o'clock in the morning. Here I am. What's up? <laughs> I was like, you know, God, is it okay if I ask you a question? And I, and I literally talked to God this way. I'm like, God, is it okay if I ask you a question? And I'm like, okay, cool. So I start asking God this question. I said, God, you know where I'm at when it comes to the Appetite today. You know what we want to do. You know the impact that we want to make in the world with the vision that you've given me. I know it can come to fruition. I need your help in giving me X, Y, Z for the Appetite today. So I started praying. I started asking God, God, um, you know this and that's going to happen and it's happening and stuff like that. I, I I want to answer. And so as I was praying, all of a sudden I stopped praying, shut my mouth because sometimes, listen, God's a gentleman. You can talk so much that and He's not going to interrupt you to where you just miss them because you're talking so much. So I, I shut my mouth, I'm like, okay, God, speak your word. I get my uh, pen and piece of paper out and I'm ready to go write down whatever I feel the Holy Ghost impressed upon me. Well, as I did that, well, actually, excuse me, I went to go grab it and I felt like this, no, get your notes. My phone, my phone, my docs, and I'm like, okay, cool. And usually I put all my documents and uh, thoughts and ideas into my Google Drive, uh, that's for Yappa. And, I put it in there and usually I get uh, information um, or like all the ideas and stuff like that. That's kind of where I, I take an idea and I extrapolate and start putting it into action, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay. So I felt to grab that and I just start typing and literally my fingers are on fire. I'm just flicking through my phone blah, 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 and, I'm, and I just feel this, wah, this big, it wasn't big, huge, but I know what the Holy Ghost feels like when he moves on you. And I get the whole thing, this whole map, this game plan for the app of 238. Now, I shared some of it on the live yesterday or whenever we did the app live. I shared some of it on the app live and I'm, I'm kind of cautious and hesitant to share it now, but in, for like, the details were just crazy, right? And um, it, so, so I get this whole, this whole deal, like action, step by step, what to do, what it's supposed to look like, how it's supposed to be. And I'm like, man, God, this is so powerful. Thank you so much. So I'm literally, I'm over there. I'm like, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I'm like running in the living room. I decided to pray in the living room uh, this morning. So I'm just saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. And then I thought to myself, I said, hmm, how do I know if this is really God? Right, because I know some, you know, we have those thoughts sometimes. Well, I, we, am I sure this is the Holy Ghost? So that's what I started thinking. So I asked God, I said, God, if this is you, I would really like, I'm like 90% sure it is you, but I'd really like for you to confirm it with my dad and my siblings. You know, 
And so I asked God, I said, God, can you confirm it? And this is how I want it to happen. I said, God, I want to ask them like, hey, this is the idea I got in prayer. What do you guys think? And I want every single one of them to say yes. That was my, my deal, right? My little submission to God. Well, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what, God? I actually really want my dad to be the one who's like, go forward with it, son. You know, spiritual authority and stuff like that. Go for it. You got this, bro. Go get it, right? So I'm like, okay, I want my dad to do it. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, that sounds good. That sounds like a good petition. So I submit it to God. I'm like, okay, God, can you do that, please? Right? Well, I began to think, and I was like, you know what? Wait a second. That's kind of not really the cool thing to do. You know, to, to what I know we call as apostolics and, you know, what the terminology we use is fleecing God, fleecing him, like Gideon. You just put the fleece out. You're like, okay, God, do this for me. And then he does it. You know, you don't want to have a have a love relationship, a faith relationship with God where you're always fleecing him. You're always asking, okay, God, I need you to confirm it this way. There's nothing wrong with asking confirmation, but when you're kind of lending towards your doubt, you're like kind of more so leaning on the side of doubting God and then doing it, you never want to doubt God. So I was like, you know what, God, I'm not even going to fleece you. I'm just going to move forward in it. About 90% sure this is you, I'm just going to jump forward and move into it as fast as possible. And guess what? God hears prayer right and i believe because my faith was there i don't know i'm not trying to give any glory to man or anything like that but this is what happened okay my phone told me my battery's at 10 percent. anyway so this is what happened a few hours later unbeknownst to me right well okay let's go let's go a few days later right i'm talking to my dad and i said dad i didn't tell you guys this yesterday i didn't tell you guys this the day before i didn't tell you guys but i think I got the next move for Yapa 238 from prayer. And he's like, okay, okay, let me hear it, let me hear it. So I'm like, okay, dad, I think we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna do that. And I think it's gonna be this way. Yep, that's what I think I got in prayer. And all of a sudden, my dad goes, yo, he said, this is crazy. No, I said, this is crazy because my dad doesn't talk that way. But anyway, he's like, it was crazy. Oh. He said, I was just telling mom, my stepmom, who's in church, I was just telling mom, you know what Avon needs to do? He needs to do X, Y, and Z, which just so happened to be the exact to a T game plan that God gave me for the opportunity in prayer. Okay? Now, just to put that into perspective, that's like you waking up and asking God, you know, can you make the sky yellow? <laughs> At least this is, how, this is how big of a deal it was for me. God, can you make it yellow with a with a, with pink clouds? Yellow and pink clouds, right? And then you start thinking to yourself, nah, never mind, that's fine. Don't do it. And then you go to work, go to school, you come back home, and your parents are telling you, dude, did you see the sky today? It was yellow with pink clouds. And you're like, oh, is that what I prayed for? Now, it was that big of a deal for me because... My life is Yappa 238, right? Um, my life is a whole bunch of stuff, but Yappa is a huge part of my life. And so for God to be that direct and that specific. Now, he told me, or he gave me the blueprint. And what happened was just a few hours later when everyone was awake and I was gone, my parents are having a discussion over the kitchen table because they're good parents. They talk about kids and our, you know, our, us as kids and, you know, future and stuff like that and what they need to do and all that great stuff, like strategically planning, not just letting life happen to us. But, and over conversation, somewhere the Holy Ghost slips in to my dad, Antonio Easter's mind. And he's like, hey, this, this, that. And God knew we we're going to meet together and, and, like i'm like oh my goodness i was like flipping out i was like dude i cannot believe that just happened and i literally took it back i was like god you i know don't do that you don't have to do that but yet he did it to prove to me that i was on the right track with what i heard in prayer it would have been different if my dad was like oh yo Ava, that's a great idea continue with it but to be in the place uh or to be in the how would you say to be to, to have the same blueprint that I got and to say, hey, I think you should do that. Or at least that's what I was thinking you should do. Where, do we, where, did, where did that come from? It had to have been from God. So I have this testimony that I want to share with you guys. It's, uh, it's very personal to me and I want to you know, encourage you 
and say that if you have like, you can get to a place in God. Now I'm not saying that I've arrived anywhere. I have a long way to go, but you can definitely find that place in God where you can get a message for the rest, for like the next move you make in life. We just sometimes are bound to the bed. We're bound to our video games. We're bound to our social media. We're bound to our friends in church, right? It's not that they're bad friends. They just take our time away from talking with God. And so we don't talk to him. And so he can't tell us because we don't have the opportunity. We're never calling him on the phone asking him, hey God, what should I do? And because of that, he's not picking up because you're not calling, right? And there's times where he has to echo through and bellow through in order to get something to you. But it shouldn't be that way. We should have an open relationship with God. So I completely would have missed all that, this entire miracle. I would have missed it if I would have stayed in bed. Now, that's not the moral of the story. <laughs> the moral of the story is, you know, you can have that relationship with God and God can perform miracles that way and confirm his word. It's crazy. And you guys will see it come, you know, over the next few weeks, however long, days, months, whatever, however long it takes for us to roll this out for Yappa. You guys will see it. And I'm in the works of the, like right now because the Holy Ghost gave it to me. <laughs> and um, it's just, it's just amazing. God can definitely do that, but we have to be open. We have to be willing. We have to not be distracted. Hear him. God, where are you at? God, what are you doing? God, what are you saying? Right? And just, oh man, that's crazy. It just super edified my faith to have a miracle performed like that. And there's been multiple miracles God's been performing within the past few weeks. I asked him for this, he does it. I'm like, whoa, it feels really that easy. So I do it again. Like, whoa, it was really that easy. <laughs> right? And stuff like that. So it's just powerful. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. I had to share this video with you guys. And I'm walking in this parking lot. Wish I had like a little skateboard so I can have some fun but yeah i was like dude that's crazy i am so thankful and so grateful <sighs> that i obeyed myself <laughs> telling myself evil get out of bed stop it <laughs> you know what i'm saying talk to myself rough so i can pull myself i literally pulled myself out of bed i was like i don't want to do this i know i got it i i don't have to but i know i get to so if you have a prayer life get up and go for it it doesn't have to be in the mornings it doesn't have to be any time there's you find all throughout the Bible, people praying in the mid at midnight and, you know, 3 p.m., you know, in the afternoon and early mornings. I have a, uh, you know, like I like early mornings. Not that I like it, but there's more of a sacrifice there. And there's something to do with the cool of the day, which we'll talk about later on Yapa 238. But anyway, so we have some super awesome stuff coming from Yapa 238. Holy Ghost, fresh from heaven. Super excited about that. But I had to share this testimony with you guys. Hopefully this edified your faith, which means built up your faith. Hopefully you got, yeah, your faith increased. Like it made you feel more faithful in the things of God because God can definitely move and he can confirm his word in miraculous ways. So anyway, just want to share this with you guys. Okay, love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. The Apple fan, fire starters. I love you guys. Almost got hit by a car. Love you guys. Okay, I didn't want to end it there because I didn't get hit. I, I was like, the car was over here. I was like right here. Yeah. Anyway, okay, love you guys. God bless. In Jesus' name.